Hey Gabriel, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can certainly tell that that is something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you today and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful for you. But we will go ahead and get started. The three things I'll cover today are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content. And content would be considered anything that you can see on your website. So that includes the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. Google typically likes to see 1500 words on the home page of a website. Um, so I would suggest getting some more content on your site and that will give you all an opportunity to be able to work in keywords and key phrases that people are going to be searching for when they're looking for your services. Next up is going to be um, citations and did just pull up a quick Google search here and the first thing you'll see is this section. This is called the map pack and citations have a lot to do with that section. So a citation is your business name, address and telephone number listed in various directories throughout the web. Um, and by directory, I mean things like Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Yellow Pages, Yelp, and really anywhere else that will allow business owners to enter in their business details and services. So you all would want to go out and see where your competition is being listed within those directories. And you would, of course, want to grab those listings for yourself. But you don't just want to stop there. So for instance, say your top competitor has 10 directory listings. You would want to grab those listings and then you want to double, triple, quadruple that. So you want to have 20, 30, 40, 50. That way you're totally dominating them in that space, but it will also help you to rank high in the maps here. So next up is going to be backlinks and backlinks have a lot to do with this section underneath the maps. This is called the organic section and the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it as well. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and send one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not going to be very helpful for you. You all would want to get links from other um, auto glass repair, windshield repair companies that send a link back to your site and signal to Google that number one, that is the industry that you're in, and number two, that you're trustworthy. That's going to be a lot more unique and also powerful in Google's eyes because it is relevant to your industry. So I pulled up one of the tools that I use here and put your site into it just to give you a visual representation of what we're talking about. So it's showing currently you all have 15 referring domains, which is giving you 114 backlinks, getting you found for four keywords, but it's not driving any traffic to your site. Now I pulled up the top competitor as well, and it's showing they have 4.34 thousand referring domains, which is giving them 218,000 backlinks getting them found for 79,000 keywords, and that's driving 511,000 people to their website just per month, which is huge. Um, let me see if we can take a look at some of the keywords they're using. So we are looking for buyer intent keywords. That's anything that someone is going to think to actually type into the search bar when they're looking for your services. So let's see what they have. So they're ranking for their business name, which is not surprising. Let's see here see if they list any specific cities here. So all of this auto glass near me, um, that would be a good one to use car window repair near me. Let's see what else they've got. And they have got a ton of keywords. So I surely will not make us go through all of these, but I at least want to give you an idea of what we're looking for here. Um, and I believe that they are a bigger company. Um, so they're probably ranking nationally, uh, but here's a perfect one, windshield replacement Phoenix. This is a perfect key phrase because it lists the service that someone's looking for, but it also lists the actual location that this company is trying to target. 
And really, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure you're being found in a lot of the same places that they are. But just like with the citations, you never want to stop at just what your competition is doing. You want to far surpass what they're doing. That is going to be the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google, but it will also make it to where your competition has a very difficult time even keeping up with you. But that is really all that I have for you today, Gabriel. I do hope that this video was helpful for you. If you'd like to know more about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help to grow your business via your online presence, please do contact us. We would love to talk to you about that. And thank you again for your time. You have a great day.